So last time we discussed about uh, performing the personalization and placebo experiment, right? Right. And then we discussed about placebo experiment and also like uh, how do you do it on the placebo experiment and how do you handle the button at one time with no placebo experiment. So now like the remaining part is like the placebo experiment. So there are two scenarios you have to consider. So when does you go with the placebo experiment? Because you know, like uh, there are some requirements where you know using personalization in this country and all or else you have to perform the extension. So what I need to say is like, uh, let me go into the instance then we can understand very easily. <coughs> So let us say you know, like observe here, as of now this is showing around you like four the total seven is showing right. The so last time I think uh, did, did I show you this one? No oh, right. I think I did it for a <coughs> okay. Let me go to another page then. It's already done right. So let me go to another page. Decide whether you have to go with the personalizing or you have to go with the new extension. So, on what basis you decide whether using personalizing can achieve or not? Is first of all, you need to identify what is the what is the new object used by this particular region. So, what you have to do is just click on network change. So, that's the report number. As of now, it is not directly showing the hyperlink here. So the thing is, the other opportunity where we can directly get the EY angle, we can expand this one and get that to show. Right? Expense report here. So now this is showing the EY angle. Right? So click on this one. So it will show the theory as well as it will show the list of attributes and their data types which are available in this particular repo. So scroll down. Mm -hmm. So now it shows the list of attributes. So there are a large number of set of attributes here it is showing. And as for the business requirement, you, are, you have to identify whether that particular requirement, required column, is available here or not. It is available here or not. If it is available, let us assume that it is available. Let us say that you know I want to show, I want to show employee ID on the page. I want to show employee ID on the page. So now this is my repo and this is my attribute. Then what I can do? So as I understand now. The required column is already available in the vivo, so simply I can go with personal ID. As the required column is available in my appropriate vivo, then I can go with the personalization. If it is not available, let us say in the worst case, let us say it is not available, then you have to go with vivo. So let us do the personalization first. Now as the required column is already available in the vivo, what I will do is I will go with this particular one. So we have to personalize the particular table region now. So click back, click return to. Now, just personalize this particular table page here. Click on personalize. And 
and then complete view. And here, what we have to do, we have to create an item here. In this table, we can we have to create an item. So click on create item. And here we have to go with let's see file text. What is that? Employee ID. Let's click employee ID. Data type is number. And what is the form? To identify and this is XS number two. XS employee ID. And then attach the Vivo instance to the Vivo attribute. So what is the Vivo instance? Vivo instance is back to the post Vivo. And what is that? Column employee. And make sure that what is the region here? This one is empty. So when I click in a function level, it is showing me. Now, if you observe, we have this link, right? like a normal uh, message double column layout. It's a double column layout, it's not a component layout. So, if you observe here, let us say if you have any requirement to show an extra column here, so then what we have to do? The same thing, we just need to identify what is, it, what is the VO and we have to show it. Most of the times, whenever you see any data, any dynamic data from data, dynamic data in the OA page, it is always to the VO. Mostly, 99% of the chances, it is always to the VO. 
Can we move the position, like change the position of his buttons and all also using personalization? Yeah, we can do that. There is an option called rearrange. You can do that. Mm -hmm. There is an option called rearrange. So I think you know, if you Can you adjust your mic? Uh, uh, yeah, I just get it away from me. Yeah. Hello? Is it fine or the same issue? Yeah, it is better. Now, on the side level, on the side level, just click on this one, icon, and then the checkbox. And here, let us say you want to display the phone number as the first column. Simply move it up and down. That's it. You can apply. Okay. Okay, now this is a rearranging uh, the sequence of items, but okay, now mm -hmm. see the previous page, okay, it, uh, those create apply buttons are appearing on the right end of the page, right? I want to oh, bring them yeah. to... Those things, you know, like uh, at the layout, you can't do it. I mean, generally those buttons, like uh, at the part of the page, layout, you can right? Yeah. Those uh -huh. an item, an item is one that is not more, more of another region, that is one thing. In a region, you can rearrange. Within a region. Let us say in a page cloud region, you have a create button as well as submit button. You want to show submit button before create button. That we can do. But we cannot change the position. And if you from this, you know, like a right angle to the left side, those things are cancelled. Mm -hmm. okay. So let us what we do is that uh, let us choose this particular table region or the book for and uh, for example, whatever it is. Let us say I'll choose this particular region now. Book one. Now I want to perform the view extension. So to perform the view extension, first of all, identify what is the view and all this information. Click on this about page, about this page, and make sure note of the page also. Sometimes you need to require. Then all. So search for. Contact or whatever. Yeah. Can you see now? Like now, bookmark contact. This is the this is the region which we are trying to do. And if you observe this particular bookmark contact table, which is a bit of bigger, this is the bigger. Okay. This is the bigger of the table region. So to identify what is the path and all those things, you know, it's what first of all you can make a note of it even in, or even if you just click on expand all, click on expand all, it shows this particular bigger path also. It shows the bigger path also. 
And the next step involved is so after getting the author file moving to the appropriate location, then we have to create our own project. So even though if you it is better don't try to use existing project, create a new project okay. And after that you like uh, what you have to do, you have to create a new demo extending the so this is the extra step necessary. So let us so still mm -hmm. test it is almost done, but let us try because as of now I have not moved, I have not moved the Java class, I mean the class files to the my project folder. As of now I just moved to only my classes. Because I just want to show one thing. While doing what exactly we show, that is why I have not yet moved. So what I will do is now I will create a project. I will create a project now. Okay. This one, new part, new volume project. But if you have Java. already Java folder, Java decoder. Oh, okay, Java file. Okay, Java. Okay. Decoder. So, I mean, okay. like instead of the class file, if we have the Java, it would have been yes. uh, appeared there. Right, right. It would have been very easy. So on the project, that's why I write it again. AJ Business Company new object. Let me create a new project again. I'll just delete this project. Maybe the home directory is pointing to this my projects or is it that pointing to different projects? Let me delete this one. It is pointing to this one, right? Jada home, Jada home, where is the my project? Jada home, Jada home, where is the my project? Or in this included, if we can do anything, add here or here itself. Uh, let me check whether I got excluded. No, it is not excluded. Okay. Let me check whether I got excluded. No, it is not excluded. Or explicitly, if we, if we include. Included? Yeah, included by default is there. Okay. So, 
Uh, if we add and we specify the path, okay, it will Now, what we It is not showing the system. You have to show the report of the system. It is not even the And uh, whatever it is currently showing, where is it picking from? This part you are saying? Yeah. These are, these are taking it from here, my project. Whatever, whatever the thing is there in the mind for it. Okay. And uh, <coughs> the uh, view that we want to extend is also from the same path, right? Right, right. If we take a move, all the files in the server to this one. That is one more option I have. So I'll go to IMC now. Okay. So there are chances, in the worst case, there are chances that you have taken a switch and the same. Then also it's not so bad. So I move the total file of so bad. Then let's see if I can show the icon. Here it is not, for the example, it is not recognizing that's the problem. It's not recognizing the XML. And then I just recognize
Yeah. Can you see now? It shows it as an icon, right? This one. Mm. This is the problem. Now let's try. Okay. Now here, what I am doing is on the project, on the project, click on the right click, click on new, area business component, new object, and click on next, and you simply click on action property first. So it has to show the relevant people which you want to extract. So in our case, it is bookmark organization repo. So I'll just choose that one. Is it there or not? It's not organization repo. Except that everything is there. Right? Yeah. Except that everything is there. So let us say I'll choose a bookmark person in your thing. I'm just going to choose this one. Bookmark person in your thing. This is automatically showing all this information for us. So we're not very interested in it. But then what you can do is yeah. Just rename this package structure, only this package structure. It's a serious dot, this one. It's a serious dot, the package structure. And as of now, from this perspective onwards, don't change anything, let it generate, let it generate the Vivo IM in all the files. Click on this. And see here, automatically shows the, the path, I mean the theory of the existing Vivo. So, you can change it later, so better click on next and leave this in the image. Click on next, next. Now it is a nice step with this. Yeah. Yeah. And it. Right. So now here, there is another system. Next is here. Yeah. I didn't see. Home. Server. But this server. External view. So double click on this one. Identify the screen here. Image of the screen. Okay. And you go to the database and change it appropriately. JPX file of this particular project. So our file name is XS, you know, CA, 
we go actually new project, right? So that particular project, JPF or JPX file, is available in the My Projects folder. Go to My Projects folder here. This is the file, JPX, XXCA, we go actually new project. Let us say mm -hmm. I'll open with the notepad here. Okay, as of now, I, have not, I don't want to anything. Now what we do is, go to JPLocker here, and we have left sign, what is the source? Our source is, Bookmark person is right? And the right side, right side, the left side is, yeah. Yes, you know, like for this particular standard Vivo, we want to replace that with our custom Vivo. You know, this is our custom Vivo, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just click on add here, click on OK. No. Check out the JPX file. Can you see it is asking us to reload? Is asking us to reload. Right. Click on yes. And can you see? So, old name is your office standard demo, and the new name is our custom demo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what we do is, just like that here, the next step is we have to perform and stop the debug JPX control. So, we have performed the substitution. The next thing is we have to perform JPX control. So, before JPX control, better we move the file source. First thing, what we do is, Move the latest class files to the server and after that we perform the JPX import. So now what I will do is go to the my class, go to the Java class, Java classes, and you also are going to Java classes, our my classes folder. So in our case we have our XXCS folder, right? XXCS, RT, apps, files is the folder which I want to move it. XXCS, RT, apps. So I just move IMC folder now. Okay. Right? So then we come to pick out whether all the files are not there, there or not. Yeah. So we have the Vivo XML, Vivo IML also. So is it Vivo IML is not there? Okay, it's not there. So not an issue. So we have moved the class file as well as XML file from the local machine to the server. And the next step is we have to perform JPX import. So for the JPX import, let me show the syntax. So this is syntax. The JPX input, what we have to mention is we have to mention what is our path of our J, JPX file. So in our case, so this is my project, my project folder, and what is JPX name, this is our JPX name. Okay. And the remaining information is the PNS index. Remaining information is database database index. Mm -hmm. You have to come back from and the uh, Okay, data bin, OAUT. Okay, now in this location, in this location, if you observe, there are a list of files that import command, JPEG and go. There are some set of import commands which are there here. Okay, now what I will do is, I'll just perform this particular extension now. I'll perform this substitution here. Okay, and if it's success, it, it tells you the what is the power Now it has imported the image successfully. And it says path also, just make a note of this one, which is very important. So now, it says that imported this particular document to the instance, to the database, the MDS layer, substitution information is stored in the database. And now, how we know whether it is got, it got uploaded database? So make a note of this particular V1 name, go to database, and start from JVR path, where path underscore name is equal to, Search with your demo. For the material dash, it has to show a record. It has to show a record. But how do I know this belongs to me? Very simple. Path underscore name, path underscore, wrong ID. Right? Get document name. So these are generally like uh, during our extension problem, you generally we use this kind of process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when you see, it is showing this particular part, right? And but what is the content of it? It's very easy. What you can do is here, what we have to do is here, the DXCC, JDR, which is dot. Document. 
So just mention the path name, okay? Mention the path name here. And enable the data with output also. Enable the output. Destroying our information, what we have performed using our substitution. Customizing the standard label with a custom label. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is called substitution. So that the total substitution information will be stored in the MDS database. Okay. Okay. And we have performed substitution, we have moved our class size, and the final thing which is remaining as of now is just a bounce. That's why the bounce is mandatory. Okay. And uh, this uh, JPX import command, do we have a server version also? Server version you will not have it. You have to mention only database, database information. Database so database. We need to perform only from the client, uh, from our client machine only. No, no, it's not like that. See, what are the commands which I am doing at the this OE, this one. You can also do it from Unix from one. It's all set up things yeah. will be available from the Unix level, Unix level also. Okay, so only the Thing that changes is only the path, right? That's it. The command, the location of the path may differ, or with the JPEG file location will differ. That's it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So now we have to perform the call. I'll go to the instance. So until that, the call, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. One more thing to So I think it is up now. So what we can do? So let us go to the same page again. Just no small and good page. We come home. Okay. So the 
problem could be there is one particular flow of packet delivery. The thing is, so here when we perform the new extension, there is one more property we have to identify. So this open the view of the XML file, open the XML file, and find out what is the binding cell which we are using our latest latest this extension, and also find out what is the binding cell which which the seeded one is using. So if you see IMC. And let us see the binding style. What is the binding style is using? It is using Oracle. And what is the binding style we are, we are using? We are using Oracle name. We are using Oracle name. Mm -hmm. Then it is using Oracle. So that is one of the issues. So we cannot have this one in this case here. So we could not put modify directly. So what we can do is open the file again from the respective uh, the wizard only. Directly we cannot modify from the JWT itself. So you can simply click on equal statement and click on the binding this one. Click on RT position, click on apply. And now if you see the binding cell of this one, it is it changed to Oracle now, right? It got changed to Oracle. Mm -hmm. Save this one, yeah. again recompile, again you have to follow the same, same stuff. Now substitution is not required okay. because substitution is already done. Substitution is already done. Right. Yeah. So we just require only bonds. We just re require only bonds. So let us move the latest defined again. I am to Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's right. So this is one more uh, I have. Let me check it finally. Again, we require. You don't have to do all right now. Uh, like only that core probably. Uh, 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 can you list all all the steps here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one you are saying, right? No, this is not required actually. This bonding, you know, like in this, there is a problem. That is why I have to do, I have to, you know, bond each and every server. And generally, we don't do this one. We just have only two commands. We just have only two commands. I'll tell you. So we are doing OPMNCTL and A. What is this to come and switch to? But again, I'm doing extra set of the thing is, the script is not proper here. I have to mention start all, I have to stop all. This is not working. One more is gone. Now that's fine. Is it enough? Yeah. And mm -hmm. but how do I know my viewer is there? Simply click on about this page. Click on about this page. And here, check out the business objects here. Expand this one. It has to show our custom viewer. If it doesn't show, I guess there is something wrong. So it is not showing, right? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. It is showing, right? Can you see? Right, yeah. And just click on it here. Click on this one. And um, 
why not was the our the the follow which we had can you see the reason yeah right so this is the first question <laughs> okay um make a note of the vivo also here so click back go back why not the vivo name here in, in the vivo name this check out only the vivo instance vivo name that's it so this does not affect the total part for us and now we know what is our vivo name and what is the attribute so what we can do so simply we have to click on the personalization on this particular personalization let us click on personalize table and click on complete view and click on create item and okay let's see how it looks let's see personalize to this i identify the pin is actually okay we get the word instance and the word okay And now, if at all, if you have requirement to migrate, let us say you know, develop the hardware and everything, you will need to do process. So the migration, what are you have to consider it? So first, basic thing is your class file. All the class files which you are using, you have to do that. As equal to the Java stuff, you have to move it. And the next step is what are the personalization you have done? See, on the page, not only see, we have performed a substitution as well as we also perform the personalization. So You have to get all the relevant class XML files of using of the particular personalization, and also your JPEG import, the JPEG import file. Mm -hmm. So we require class files, we require personalization files, as well as the JPEG import command. So these three things have to be performed when you want to migrate at the target instance. Okay. Okay. So and uh, if any further. Any yeah. any further changes on the same object will be just uh, modifying this uh, our extended view only. Yeah, yeah, yes. If you require any, let us say now we add one more column. If you are doing require to add one more extra column. So you should not don't create a new view again. Don't create a new view again. Just get the extent, get the extent, get the already extended view and modify that only. Again, that's on the same. Okay. And yeah, yeah. And uh, that is a process followed for all kind of extensions, right? All the DC for the extension, yeah. All the DC for the extension, the same process follow. But CVO okay, extension. Okay, if it is a CVO extension. CVO extension, we uh, remember right? Like only CVO file. You can do it. When you do a CVO extension, generally what we do is we will never try. We will never try to override the existing CVO. Let us say you already modified your CVO file name CVO X1. Later on, if you get a new requirement, what we get, what we prefer to do is we create a new file CVO X2. And what we do is in the CVO X2, we we'll copy all the content, copy all the content of content of CVO X1, and add up your new file, add up, add up your new data, mm -hmm. new code. Okay. This is what we do. And yeah, so the CX CVO X2 will be uh, cumulative okay. of uh, X1 and the new functionality. Correct, correct. Because like when you do okay. it, you, uh, yeah. When you do a new extension, so okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, please. See what? Why do we do like a CVO extension? Because see, generally when you do a CVO extension modification, what will happen is most of the time your requirement will change. If it is a Dubai client, gone. If you if you see the UAE client, you will get every day they will have a change. Every day they will have a change, and every month they will have a change. So what we do is actually, and uh, what we do is we should never we are what we have done. Let us say CVO X one is already there. Modified by developer, and now we got a new requirement on the same particular CVO on, on the same particular standard CVO. The first thing you have to identify is what is the latest CVO extension. By default, generally on the server you can find it, right? On the server, or maybe on the page also you can find it. On the page itself you can find out what is your instance. So get what you have to do is you get the CVO, you get a Java file of that one because it's a custom program, right? If you do a CVO extension, it's nothing but a custom program. So your Java file is already available for you. 
you get the Java file and you save as if your new name and then add up the extra code. Yeah. So, and from the database, uh, is it possible to get all the objects that are having extensions and personalizations? Database, yeah. Um, yes. Yes. You can get it. Like, instead of searching each and every page, right? Okay, let us say I have an application and I want to know okay, what are all the customizations and uh, extensions of on those uh, on that application. Yeah. So recently, I mean, I had a, this kind of yeah. problem also. So in a given in a given if you observe the JDR repository, what's the basic thing is you can get your standard pages information and you can get your custom pages information also. Custom pages information. Okay. And but let us say in your case, if you want to own, if you want to have only personalized information, see, custom pages will be there anyway. But let us say you don't want custom pages of standard pages. What you want is you just want only personalized pages information. If you want, have only personalized pages information. Yes, we can get it. One easiest thing is, okay, rather than you know, like writing your, your query on your own, what you can do is, if you see the functional administrator, the functional administrator, we have the this kind of functionality already, right? Functional administrator. Yes, you can simply say personalized. It will show only those particular pages which are personal. Mm -hmm. so now in our case, let us say if you want to find out whether our page got you know that information is available here or not, yeah, we can we can check that one. Document part is R and I am correct, and just keep this part. Can you see? Yeah. And of course, it shows the last updated date. It is not a correct one, actually. It shows the last updated date of this particular page, this region. So it, does, it doesn't have any information. It does not show the last updated last updated date of the latest personalization. Now, this is right. my personal region. Let us say if you have name personalization, it has to show our latest personalization now. So this is 19. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can expand, you can delete, you can react to it. Now, okay, this is a page wide. You know, again, again, the problem is, you know, let us say you have all the content, and now, but what I'm saying is, this information you can, I mean, you can get it all the things from the database level. So now here, mm -hmm. what you can do is, we have the JDR part, right? JDR part. And what I can do is, where part and let's go. You get the problem with, with this one is here. We get we don't have total path information, so we have to do that. Where JDS JDR and JDS internet is one, followed by like slash orchid slash and slash IMC. Okay. Person that not right. It will show the list of personalization which are done in this particular page section. So the dot dot I think you had an Oracle dot should not be there. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now it shows all things yeah. on the personalization which are done on this one. And still there is one more property again. The thing is, let me show you that. So there is a property called you know updated by or something like that. So by based on that also you can identify. It's very simple. Internal or something is there. Created by. What we do is and created by. It's created by internal means the developer. Mm -hmm. It is simple. By this itself, we can get all the personalization which are done by the developer. Okay. Now our our page is this one. Book one person. Right. Right. And is is it also also possible to go further level down yeah. uh, and see okay like uh, see now we have identified okay uh, we created a vivo extension uh, right okay what is that actual database view what is the database component yeah I'm coming uh, there I'm coming there because I have done extensive on this area <laughs> so 
And for this Vivo, can we get the query as well? Vivo query will not be available in the India layer, but you have to get it from the middle tier one, Java top one. Uh -huh. From here we cannot get it. Okay. It will not be stored at all in there. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay. Yeah, so for this particular Vivo instance, I have the PPT also. Like all the things which I mentioned here, everything is available in the PPT. I'll send that. And even all the things which I have discussed also at the show. But this one, like uh, all the things which, which is step by step process, everything is here in the PPT also. And the okay. thing, and the all the, I have some list of samples also. I think I even mm -hmm. I have a, this is also I have it somewhere. Anyways, I'll try to share that with you also. Okay, that will be great. Yeah. And uh, see the last time's uh, session recording also, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have sent you. I forgot actually. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Okay. And uh, one more thing. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, the other day I was trying to um, do that project work, uh, that small work, mm -hmm. which I have to build in OA. Okay. So I was having problem with uh, this, uh, basically that layout, like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so kind of uh, three. Okay, if you okay, let me send you the screenshot. Uh, it's like a three columns. Okay, basically in an Excel, right? Okay, it's like a three columns, and okay. in each column, uh, horizontally we have three three sections. Mm -hmm. In each column. Okay. And um, yeah, column one. Okay, so let us say okay we have okay, column uh, ABC as one column. Uh, okay, ABC you consider as one column, and okay here it is inside this. Okay, these three. Uh, I mean uh, this is a table of three okay. Uh, columns. Mm -hmm. Okay, that what you selected, right? Okay, that is one one section, and okay similar section we have from starting from ten. Mm -hmm. Similar section, similar table. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, from level, let us say level. Okay, from level. Okay, and okay, between this, okay, we have different headings. Okay. Okay, column one, okay, we have one heading. Column ten, we have another heading. Okay, and uh, and this kind of whole column is repeating thrice, three times. So this uh, whole thing, what you have selected, right? okay, this whole thing is repeating uh, in. From okay, another one in D E F and another one in G H I. Okay. Yeah, you select the whole thing uh, from one to sixteen. Yeah. And yeah. 
one yeah right okay and uh, okay so for this i have taken um a table layout and then within that okay uh, a rail a row layout okay so so each of these okay sets right okay are appearing in one each one cell and within this uh, one cell okay i have taken a table table region and okay incorporated this uh, whatever selected table is there right? mm -hmm. uh, okay so, so overall what i think we have a total six table let me yeah so this is a uh, within this i have taken a stack okay, let me send you one more thing so this all table region is having its own view different view or same different these are all different views okay. these so are all different views this, so you have total six table region and the, Which have the different, uh, I mean the, uh, what is it? Yeah, independent regions, okay. independent views. Okay. So it's actually more than this. Okay, okay. Yes. So actually in each column there are about uh, one column is having six or seven regions and another one is having three and like that. Okay. So now, okay, uh, I'm having okay. I could create this kind of structure, but uh, uh, the attribute, okay, the um, basically the visual attributes right setting the, okay, the only uh, this table is getting sh shrunk okay, when there is no data oh, so i want okay. to keep the field lengths and all sh static yeah. okay, even when oh. there is data or no data uh, okay. i have given the widths of widths for each of these okay uh, mm -hmm. columns of column 1 2 3 okay. but uh, that is not getting reflected Did try this advanced table or simple table? Uh, try what? Did you try this advanced table? That's a other kind of table we get, right? Yeah, yeah, right, right. Advanced table layout. Yes, I have taken that. Yeah. Instead of table layout, I have taken advanced yeah, table layout. Um. And uh, there's one more thing. So first, called flexi layout. Flexi layout. There's something called flexi. Layout of, let's see layout. Let's see layout of something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Flexible. Flexible layout. Try this one. In this one, I know we have an option here. Like, uh, see, now your requirement is something like a, a portal kind of thing, right? There is something called portal kind of thing. Yeah. You have an option. This is somewhere even I I did something like. But I had a different thing. Oh, it shows me like number of columns, rows, and all this. Not sure. Mm -hmm. You have to check out all the layouts. Uh, you know, there are some sort of layouts like this. You have to check it. Right, I'll send you this uh, code okay, which I tried to build. Yeah. So at least you'll know okay, what, how, I mean the objects that I tried to use here. Yeah, I just uh, visualize this one. Page content I require. Code is not required, but only visualize this one I require. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'll send you that. Yeah. Or I'll, if you have time, I'll send it to you right away. If you can, or you can take a look later. Yeah. Yeah, you said you sent yeah. me right away, but I'll just look into some details. Okay, okay, fine, fine, yeah, okay, sure.